What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today if you can't tell from the open the excitement that I have to provide this video to you guys on Humble. Holy smokes. We got a new ticker HMBL and the news starts to pop. That's exactly what everyone has been saying. We've expected this and this is just a little piece of the pie that we are going to be getting guys. If you can't tell I am ecstatic. I know a ton of people are. Twitter was going crazy. Stock Twitch was going crazy. I'm sure a ton of other social media platforms was just going crazy. Guys, this is huge. This is huge. I look forward to really talking about this in this video. So if you're interested in Humble, because I know a ton of you are, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we Let's talk go. about how Brian Foote literally hit tweet and just probably smiled, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and that's right, you guys know it's time to get into the video. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, I am beyond ecstatic. I truly, truly am. And this is the type of information we knew would start to come once the ticker was changing. And the reason I say that is because nobody wanted to announce information under TSMPD. Nobody wanted to announce information under TSMP. We wanted to see the information announced under the ticker HMBL. And this is exactly what we got. You know, this is incredible information. This is the type of thing that we are going to start to see in a cascading wave of positive catalyst. This is going to be incredible, guys. I'm sure there's a lot more that they have lined up. That they are ready to just feed to us people out there. I mean, this is going to be incredible. This one right here, I really think, put me in shock and awe. As you guys can see in the open, I was kind of joking, but that really was very close to how my response was. And the reason is, is just because it was middle of the day. We were coming out of that lunch lull, and all of a sudden, Brian Foote has a tweet that really says, Hey, on April 2nd, Lucas and all of the other humble investors and anyone that is interested in getting into humble financial you will have the opportunity to invest into etx's i instantly my mouth dropped i was ecstatic and i was like here we go so what did i do i immediately went over to the stock i started checking the chart and it's like everything started to respond people were spreading it out people were starting to spread it through social media it was starting to spread like wildfire people were starting to see what was put out the stock started to respond guys this is a significant piece because it will be located in the United States and we're gonna get into the tweet and I think there's a couple little things that are also within this tweet that I think are very significant but it's just to the fact that it's available in the US and so many people are were anticipating this a lot of people want to participate in the ETXs. they want to be able to invest into crypto in an ETF form this is exciting so let's break this thing down and see what Brian Foote had to say. So right out the gate, he said on Friday, traditional U.S. stock markets will be closed due to Good Friday. The 24-7 digital asset markets will not be available in the U.S. from April 2nd across multiple exchanges at hashtag humble, hashtag humble financial. A significant piece is, honestly, it says across multiple exchanges. So if we go to the next tweet, this is where it gets even better. It says the block ETXs will be co uh, compatible with accounts on Coinbase Pro, Bittrex, US, and Binance, US. I think this is significant. I really do think this is significant because you're talking about Coinbase, which is another platform, which is, you know, obviously making a ton of money. They're about to IPO. This is an incredible, incredible piece of information that I don't want to slip through the cracks because this is a really kind of telling piece of information as well. Um, and so I'm excited for this. I know a ton of people are and I really really was looking forward to providing at least this aspect to you guys. I think another tweet that was immediately put out that really kind of solidified the information that we are being provided actually came from Calvin Waite. And so Calvin Waite obviously says that's right. 
ETXs are available to US customers starting April 2nd. Bittrex, Coinbase Pro, and Binance US support it. I think again, this is just reassuring. This is exciting information. And really what this does is this just creates a lot of excitement around what is going on. Now basically what we're gonna do is we're going to dive in and we're really gonna talk about some of the aspects that ETXs truly are going to provide some of the options you can get in when you get into an ETX and things like that. So taking it right from the source, which is Humble Pay, in this case, Humble Financial, basically what it explains is what a block ETX is. So it says it provides a new way to get exposure to emerging asset classes. And basically it's rooted in blockchain boosting sharp ratio and indexing against a new historical trading market. It says right there you can subscribe now when you click on it actually it says you can't subscribe yet in the u.s and then it gives you another list of countries that obviously it doesn't um, allow that in yet well actually on april 2nd the u.s will be able to do this so then you continue down and it talks about the product features it talks about unlimited access to etx products it says choose between any of the index thematic and or active etx products all for a single flat fee which is going to be uh, a $4.99 monthly subscription, gain access to our proprietary trading bots with transparent open pricing, no hidden fees, 24 seven virtual trading bots, automatic rebalancing, take advantage of the crypto volatility with strategic active trade entry and rebalancing designed to capture opportunities automatically. Safe and secure, which is a very, very significant piece. Assets are held on a world-class exchanges Trade ex, uh, executions are performed using encrypted API command with trade only access. Product research invest in a top performing asset class of the decade. Digital assets have been a top performing asset class of the decade and have seen increased global inflow in calendar year 2020. I think this is extremely, extremely significant. And the reason I say that is because now you're starting to incorporate other things. I think a big piece is Coinbase. I think obviously I'm a Coinbase holder. I have a Coinbase account. And I think that's just extremely, extremely significant for myself because now I'm able to actually get into some of the things that I've been very interested in that Humble will provide. So now, at least in this segment, I really kind of want to create some speculation on thoughts on when we can expect the app to drop. And the reason I think that I really want to talk about this is only because I think there's a chance we could see the app drop sooner rather than later. And the reason I say it is just because of this information that was dropped today. I would be extremely, extremely ecstatic if they decided to pull like an April Fool's joke or a surprise and release the app actually on the first. And then it allowed you to actually invest into the ETXs on the second. Now, is there a chance that this may not happen? Yes, of course. Um, but it would be super cool to see that to happen. I do think though that since this was actually released from the CEO Brian Foote himself and it says that ETXs are going to be actively you know, traded and you can get in them on April 2nd, I think we are right there when it comes to obviously the app being dropped. If this does not drop this week, then I could see it probably happening here within the next two weeks. And the reason I say it is just because we are right there. You know, obviously the conference call, he stated that he wanted to shore up some legality things. I think that I'm sure that's been a significant amount of time, especially with how much Brian Foote says that the team is continuously working. I'm sure that that has been reassured. And, you know, at the time he even stated that everything was ready to go at the time. But again, he just wanted to shore up some legality things. So I could really see this starting to flow and create a major positive catalyst for this stock for the stock price really start to create that you know hype around it again the way it was you know when we led into this entire thing i'm extremely excited to see what we're capable of doing and truly seeing when you have the ticker under your own name hmbl and you really start to pour out the positive catalyst what is this stock price going to get to so I, I'm excited. Now, we've come to my favorite time of any video, and that's chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and check out HMBL. I love to see that, which is going to be Humble Inc. So today, it opened at $3.20. It got as high as $3.74. Its low was $2.84. And I don't want that to really kind of go unnoticed, because in all honesty, guys, when the market originally opened, it did not look like it was going to be a great day for Humble by no means. 
So the volume was 13.70 million. Current market cap is 3.371 billion. 52 week high is $7.72. 52 week low is a big fat zero. And its average volume is 19.45 million. It closed today at $3.46. That was up 8.12%. And this is a one day chart. So like I said, guys, the open really was not a good thing. Um, and truthfully, for the first couple hours until, like I said, 1152 uh, AM Central Standard Time, this thing basically had that morning dip and just stayed flat. Um, and then obviously the information started spreading. Obviously, it started going through social media, it started getting through a lot of people, and, and it really spread pretty quickly. I would say within probably about 20 to 30 minutes, this thing started to kick it in gear, as you guys can see on this chart. And really, it shot up in the upward direction. You know, it really kind of settled in um, and then had another run and had a pullback. Obviously, the mark or the stock can't continuously to go up forever. Um, and so it ran out of steam, kind of had its pullback and really settled in there right around 346 to 350. Um, I'm excited to see, you know, as we continue to take strides, are we going to see the app really be released this week? Obviously, since April 1st is coming up. This is could this happen? You know, April is a good time to really do that. Um, I just think that there's a lot that's still going to come out, and I think that we are really in that phase now where it's go time. I appreciate you swinging by and checking out this video on Humble. I can assure you this won't be the last. And really, guys, this one had me fired up. This one really had me excited because we are starting to get the news that we have been kind of anticipating. You know, a lot of us have been like, oh, I wish they would just kind of say this or I wish this would happen. Well, guys, this is one of those things that we've been waiting and it happened. So I'm excited for it. I know a ton of you are and I really wanted to put this video out. I'm just super excited. I do want to remind you guys, I'm not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.